Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games and welcome back to part two of my Holy Insurance Clergy here in Stellaris. I'm just, we're just expanding right now. We have uh, declared a, a rivalry with the uh, KCU here, um, which is, it's, which could very easily become our first war. I'm a little more concerned with pirates right now though, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, let's see, I've got 200 energy credits. I want to start thinking about where I want to drop a colony. And I think a 12 tile one's just not going to cut it. Uh, that's all there is to it. Okay, but I think I'm now mining everything in my home galaxy. Wait. Yep, yeah, uh, looks like it. Survey complete. Good, good. Uh, another couple of systems have now been surveyed. What do we got out here in uh, Evacona? So there's nobody here. That's good. Um, I think... Maybe we can start poking over here towards this nebula, getting an idea of what's going on out there. Construction complete. All right, awesome. Now we've got three star bases up and running. Uh, very pleased with that. And uh, you see, yeah, we have this very uninhabitable world. It's only a 10, that's not good. Uh, although there is a pulsar star here, so that's, uh, that's kind of interesting because it's gonna bring down the shields of anybody who tries to come through this area. Now, what to do with this construction ship? I've got a special project here. I think all these require scientists that are at least skill level three. Everybody's at two, right? Okay, so that's gonna take a little while before there's uh, too much I could do with them. Steady amounts of uh, minerals coming in. You know what, here's what I'm gonna do. Policies and edicts. War philosophy, refugees, slavery, core world. Maybe I could save up some influence and do something here like map the stars. No, diplomatic grants, no. What could we do? We've got full citizenship Survey rights. Complete. I think we're gonna go for Another utopian detective. abundance. Yeah, let's give them some utopian abundance, which is gonna increase their happiness by 20% and increase my consumer good use. But I think it's gonna be worth it in the end for them, uh, yeah, for them to have everything they need. Uh, good. Oh, a few of my scientists just leveled up. Two, two, and to two. I need a three, please. And we've got uh, another anomaly found out here. Signs of activity of an ancient precursor civilization. Why not? Let's check that out. This could be another good choke point right here. But I'm quite concerned with any pirates arriving. A lot of energy, definitely no shortage of that, it would appear. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I wish I could run into, because I've, I've got more energy than, uh, I've got more energy that I'm making than minerals. So it'd be nice if I could find a trading hub or something. Uh, but now that I've got enough minerals, let's find out what I'm gonna do next. I could tr no, it's way too early for me to make another star base. So let's let's talk to you and have you actually no you. Let's get you working over here somewhere. Perhaps uh, working on the engineering research. I think is actually what I want. Uh, although you can never have too much energy. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get the energy. All right, Fijon here, more energy, more minerals. Okay, and we found another observatory. Okay, how many How many of those? Man, now that we got another special project, how many is that queued up for us? Because I think we need six. Okay, I found four of them. 
Excellent. But I still need better skilled scientists. Wow, this one's going to require a skill level 5. This is where the fleeting could hurt me uh, if they end up dying before I can do anything with them. Let's come on down here to Hathaway. What? I mean, not Hathaway. Uh, Chevy Chase. What could we be building on the surface right now? I don't have anybody... Hmm... Nobody is unemployed. I probably should just wait until there's people who are unemployed before I start actually building anything out here. I'm going to be able to make some more food soon. Genome mapping is done. Good job. Just speaking of it. Oh, hollow temple. A temple upgrade would be pretty awesome. 200 minerals, though. I do like the unity. We're going to need more as things go on. And compared to the gene clinic... Uh, I'm not so interested in that, so we'll work on that. Uh, 32 months still remaining on the blue lasers. Yeah, there's no way I can upgrade the fleet. There's nothing to upgrade yet, and that is definitely the part of my... That's definitely something I've been neglecting the most so far is uh, my fleet. So I'd like to double the size of this as well as get the blue lasers on it if I get the chance. No sign of any other civilizations, though. It might just be the two of us in this corner. We might, ha might have to travel a ways before I actually find something. Oh, another inhabitable world down here, it looks like. 14. Not getting any good luck with these tiles. Hmm. See, I, I get so nervous about going on to the fastest speed, but I think that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Survey Let's come over here to our shipyard, and... I've, oh, I'm short one mineral. Base cost 145. Okay. There, that's done. It's definitely going to have to be a private colony ship that I use later. I could always use temples to switch them to spiritualist. Another precursor civilization. Let's research it, sure. Yeah, the biggest problem I've got right now is generating enough u influence. I need... I'm, Construction. There's a lot of space for me to expand. I just can't right now. All right, at least six Corvettes. That's the goal. Yeah, let's... In fact, we're going to fastest speed after all. I'm not going to be building anything with my construction ships for a little bit, I think. Uh, reality center. All right, so that's five of them I've found. One, two, three, four, five. Still don't have anybody skill level high enough to uh, check them all out. But definitely a lot of room to uh, to grow. If I head to the left, that's very good. Plus, I have this locked down this lockdown so there's at least three more systems that are going to be available to me whole lot of research right here survey complete well uh, could I build a star base here it's gonna cost me only 75 influence should I lock it down should I lock it down now or am I better off building one here at Zosmo, which is admittedly not a very good uh, system. It's only got, yeah, it only has this, these, these two energy credits, but it's an excellent choke point. I could also try to come all the way down here to Aether, which is very much out of my way. But it's such a good choke point. And... You know what? You're not doing anything, right? Let's, we're going to have you come back. I want you to survey this way. Check out to see if anybody's there. You're going to come back this way. And it, I'll wait. I'm going to wait a little bit longer on building another star base. Let's just keep mining then. Definitely a decent enough start. Wow, look at all this research out here. Eight physics research. Whoa. Construction complete. All right, that's done. Speaking of research, let's get on that. 
So many energy credits, more than I know what to do with. Uh, we have a small rectangular object on the surface of this planet, deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine its material composition. 30% failure risk. Let's go for it, though. He's careful. He's careful. It'll be okay. See, and then these, of course, are things I'm going to want to eventually lock down because they've got the good, uh... They've got a lot of resources. Construction complete. Let's take a look. How long until I get my new... Okay, three more months. Three more months. Alien mural while con uh, conducting surface scan scans of Etrovip... The th uh, Etrovip 3, science officer, Luteramex, and the crew of the ISS Irid Elfil uh, special project. Okay, we got a uh, translating mineral text. That's fine. New tradition available now. Building upkeep and starbase upkeep reduced by 10%. That's nice. Uh, ship upkeep reduced by 10%. Energy output increased by 5%. <sighs> There's a few things here I just don't need. All right. A small Voltaeum satellite was found in the orbit of Etrovip 1C. It had been set up to continuously repeat a message until its power source drained millions of years ago. We salvaged its transmitter array, but could only recover a small portion of the transmission. The main purpose of this satellite was apparently to preach the dominant Voltaeum philosophy to neighboring civilizations. Its message speaks of the need to disconnect and embrace true existence. Whatever that means. Curious. So we have another special project. No shortage of those. That's for sure. Okay, uh, let's, let's keep this paused. <sighs> I think administrative operations is going to be the way to go. Okay, 51 more months until I can uh, pick something else. Finally, we have... Uh, no, one, CEO 50. No, that's one of our... That's the ruler of our civilization. That's no good. But we got the blue lasers. Oh, administrative AI. Thank you very much. Um... Survey complete. Let's come on down here, get another Corvette queued up. Alright, so who's not doing anything? You. And you're still a level one. And have them st him start going towards the nebula. See if we got any friends to the north. Construction complete. Alright, that's done, that's done. A lot of surveying. That construction queue is finished. Okay, I think I need to start. I'm gonna start building another starbase. Let's at least get this. Anomaly detected. An abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this planet. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relies on relied on solar power to function. Right, I think I'm starting to figure out what I would like my borders to be, at least for now. So I'd like to get down here. This is an excellent choke point. Maybe get one here, here, and here for now. Uh-huh. Maybe. Okay, so the abandoned solar sail ship in orbit. Uh, it was a sublight vessel that was built by an unknown culture, and it appears to be several thousands, th several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. An interesting, albeit primitive, design. Okay, so I got a little bit of engineering research out of that. Not too shabby. Okay. Come on down here and Survey prepare to build complete. yet another spaceport. Technology discovered. Okay, what have we got? Corvette build speed and cost reduced. Thank you. Engineering facilities I don't think are necessary. Mining network 2 is not really that great either. Let's, uh, let's knock out the engineering facility just so I can then cycle to something else, something more useful. Okay, you're done with that. Survey Good. Complete. We're moving quickly. They kind of are too. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven systems under their control so far and counting. I'm just barely going to be working on my fourth here. Need to get that fifth one out. Okay, let's get a Corvette. That's the wrong thing. Whoops, shipyard. Here we go. Get another Corvette out. And then that's going to be it. Six Corvettes for now. I'm not going to go too heavy for on them. Completed. No pirates either. I'm waiting. <laughs> I haven't seen a single pirate yet. 
Encounter in Borbo. Whoa, stop it. We have encountered some sort of some form of alien vessel in the Borbo system. These strange objects have been labeled as beta aliens. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. Okay, it looks like they're avian. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and investigate that. And where where is this? Uh, okay, I've got you here. Let's get them down here. They're only one system over and uh, researching this project. Okay, who else is not doing anything? You're now also a level three. Um, I know that there were some other level three. One's the gas mining facility down here. Okay. Come back and research that project. I think I've, ex I've surveyed enough for right now. So there, there's definitely somebody up here coming down. Have I, have I found all six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, great, they're all here. Now I just need to find a scientist who is a level six, or level five, eventually. We'll just go back to being fast. Again, still not as much min mini minerals coming in as I would like. But I just want everything, I want it now. That's really what it is all about. Getting everything in the world right now. One, two, three. And maybe accelerating my own growth. How, how strong are they compared to me right now? Uh, their fleet power is superior. That's kind of worrisome. <sighs> I gotta be ready for an eventual world war. Uh, but now that we have these three and three here, let's go ahead and merge these fleets. Uh, which, where's the merge button again? There we go. Merge. So we're going to merge them, then we'll upgrade them, which shouldn't cost me too much. The blue lasers are pretty great. Grow agenda. We have received a transmission from the Tyal League. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open. Okay, what have we got here? Ah, they are avians. This guy looks a little bored. They're hegemonic imperialists, fanatic militarists, and materialists. I represent the Tyal League, our elected leader, Commissary General Kaka, Kaka Makeki. Hopes for peaceful relations with your people, but know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. Um... <laughs> May the spirits bring you to your goals, buddy. Okay, so they're they're kind of small. They're they're staying compact right here. They're but they're getting into the nebula. All right. So the question then becomes: Do I go out here all the way to the nebula itself and turn that into a choke point, or do I want to stay here at Borbo? I'm afraid of overextending because I want to come here. I want to come there. There's so many things I want to do. Uh, very tough. Is there a singularity out here? It looks like it. Probably. All right, so what can we do in the meantime? Maybe finally build a star base on the inside here? Yeah, I probably should, then start harvesting all these re uh, these uh, researches. Complete. Points. Uh, a colossal impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface of this planet once. Sure, check it out. Check it out, check it out. I love anomalies. All right, so we're going to have a core five here. I need to choose which direction to go in. See, there's no rush. There's no rush to get these at all. And some Special of these planets project. are a little trash. Okay, the sci uh, we've partially translated the alien mural. The text content contains a staggering amount of data, and the Special mural project. evidently... Wait a second. Evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes in broad terms the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we had yet to discover. There's enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation efforts. Intriguing. Nice 200 experience, and we're getting a fair amount of stuff. Okay, so let's, uh... Oh, shoot. Where was that? Uh, my mistake. It was out here. 
Yeah, right here. Okay, so we we got the science ship. Let's uh, let's get a construction ship out here. Uh, that's pretty nice. Okay, archaeological project complete. A mostly intact Voltaeum spacesuit that previous looters had somehow overlooked has been recovered by our archaeologists. This four meter long tube like construct has given our scientists new insights into what kind of environments the Voltaeum preferred an interesting find more engineering research and we've got one of the uh we okay so we finished one we're done there uh was there another any others that are skill level three problems here orbital map let's go to that a little bit more minerals here Okay, now we're getting in a groove. So we're gonna wanna, okay, so this, then we're definitely expanding out to here. So maybe here and here, be some good spots. We'll have to see. No wormholes yet either. No wormholes or gateways, but it's a small universe, but it's a big one. Who knows what's out there? Uh, we got another one here who's not doing anything. Why can't I use this? Has to have a skill level four. Ugh. All right, then. Um, go survey this planet. Just because it hasn't been done yet. How goes the starbase construction out here? All right, the blueprint is there, and we are waiting for our ship. Really was expecting pirates to spawn in this area. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. Sometimes it's fun to get an early pirate fight out of the way but we're 10 years into the game now halfway towards our first election CEO 15 see how he'll do discovered okay colony development speed plus 50 percent that sounds nice sentinel point defense not so nice yeah let's go with the colony speed only three months remaining on this, and how much until we get our next tradition? 16 months. All right, so a little bit over a year. It's going to take a little while before I get my first ascension perk with all this expanding that I'm doing. Can we build the starbase here yet? No. Short a little bit on influence, and now we're set. Let's do that, and then we'll get reaping these resources also we have these satellite special project out here construction complete orbital wait orbital complex do i not have anybody working on that i thought i did or somebody on their way i think somebody's on their way i'm pretty sure okay Look at us grow. We're looking solid now. Everybody's actually connected. A new faction has recently begin, uh, been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Holy Insurance clergy. Led by CEO 15, they call themselves the Xeno Freedom Center. Their members have been pushing hard for friendly relations with alien species. A disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble. But one that approves of the government's actions could be useful. All right, so I think that's useful to me, isn't it? Uh, let's take a look here. Factions, effects, uh, there's nothing happening. They need to be at least have 60 influence. They're at 58. Not really anything going on there. All right, more technology. Awesome. Okay, Corvette hull points plus 100. That's kind of nice. Afterburners. Afterburners are cool too. Hmm. Basic strike craft is very cool. All of these are cool. Uh, let's go with the afterburners. Okay. I love strike craft. It's like sending out those those planes. Makes it feel like Battlestar Galactica. It's tons of fun. Tons of fun for the whole family. Okay, so this is all finished up here. So as soon as I can, we're gonna come down here and build a, uh, a research station. That's only gonna cost me 90 minerals. Okay, pretty good. 
And I think I might just colonize this world. Uh, it's starting to be that there is less and less of a reason not to. Oh, our first pirate fleet. Pirate fleet from the Fell Company has been detected on a direct course towards the Oran Tok system. Here they are. All right. It's our first fight. Awesome. Uh, I might stop it right before the fight begins, though, because I do have to go to work. Uh, and I'm already cutting it really close. I've already changed my uniform, though. Uh, oh, yes, our first pirate fight coming up soon. Wait, where are they going? I thought they were heading for this system. Where are they going? Are they just passing through? What's going on here? Okay, I guess they're just passing through. Well, all right then. Too bad. Sorry for that uh, anti-climax, everybody. All right, so we got... Where'd the music go, I just realized? Hmm. The music's gone. Wait a second. Where did it go? Uh... Okay, it's coming in. It's just a soft track. Sorry, guys. Because I kind of keep it low. I don't ever want the music to be overpowering me. That's the that's just the main thing here. Let's go to uh, something a little up. Special project complete. All right. Uh, the archaeologists investigating the Voltaeum orbital complex above uh, have stumbled upon an interesting find. They managed to recover a partial copy of what was apparently a fairly popular multi-user virtual reality game enjoyed by billions of Voltaeum across their empire. Although the game takes place in a fictional and highly satirized version of their contemporary society, it has proven an invaluable source of information on both their language and customs. An interesting find. Interesting find indeed, and thank you for the research. Alright, so now that that's done, uh, okay, so you're still just a level 3. Is there anything else that just takes a 3? I think we're all, it's all in the 4s now. That's too bad, but uh, we are we are kind of on the edge of the galaxy, so we might as well go you know, keep moving. See what we can find out here in this sector. All right, they took the nebula. Not too surprised. Is there anything particularly awesome out here? Did they get special resources? Maybe not. Okay, well, since they've taken the nebula... I suppose I should... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get like to Bon. So Barbo should probably be as far as I expand outward in this direction. Yeah. I think that will do it. How much longer on this? One more tradition on its way soon. Energy trading hubs produce one additional energy. Let's come over here. Hmm. I already got a temple up and running somewhere, right? Didn't I already do that? Pursuit of profit. Energy grids and energy nexuses now also produce two unity. Uh. Energy out. Yeah. Energy output. Let's increase that. Look at that. We're already in the quadruple digits on the energy. Uh, I think that I should build a colony. I'll just go ahead and build a private colony, and yeah, let's and let's settle continue. down here on another habitable planet. Let's just read this real quick, and then I'm going to call it a day. The material composition of this asteroid differs significantly from its neighbors. It likely has a different origin than the other body, bodies of this asteroid belt, and should be investigated more closely. Go for it, dude. Go for it, little gecko man. All right, so the Gigkota, we're, we're beginning to expand. We've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, star systems under our under our thumbs, uh, under our sticky little fingers, which is less than our Democratic Crusader nation uh, neighbors have, but more than the Tyal League. Uh, hopefully, we're going to keep continuing to be in a good position. I really need to get some more mineral output happening, though. Uh, although I'm pretty sure technologically I'm ahead. Oh, also, before I forget, let's go ahead and upgrade our fleet as soon as possible. And uh, I'm going to call it a day there. Thank you very much. I'm Conquering History Games. Please subscribe if you haven't already. 
and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.